facts would be negligible to the naked eye. However, this is where the benefits begin. The laser light would be monochromatic, typically red. For astronomers, this would create a perfect temporary reference point on the lunar surface, a bright red dot of known origin and properties. This could be used to calibrate instruments with incredible precision, improving the accuracy of lunar mapping and other scientific observations. We would, in effect, be painting a target on the moon for science. Another often overlooked benefit is in the realm of orbital mechanics. The photons from our lasers would exert a tiny amount of radiation pressure on the lunar surface. While the force would be immeasurably small, the act of consistently applying it from the Earth could, over millions of years, theoretically influence the Moon's orbit in a calculable way. This would provide planetary scientists with a unique, large-scale experiment to test models of orbital dynamics and tidal forces. We could finally move from passive observation to active, albeit gentle, manipulation of a celestial